The U.S. Supreme Court is hearing a case about the rights of unhoused people, and that case has ties right back here to Boise. I'm your downtown Boise neighborhood reporter, Brendan Jones, and one of the city's shelters says they are confident that Boise's unhoused population will be protected regardless of what happens in court. The United States Supreme Court will rule on a case out of the Ninth Circuit that says cities are not able to use local ordinances to enforce bans on public camping. That case is from Oregon, but it also has ties to a similar case from right here in Boise. In 2021, the city of Boise settled in the Martin v. Boise case. Back in February of that year, the city said the agreement ensures people experiencing homelessness will not be cited or arrested for sleeping outdoors when there is no shelter available. It was decided that criminalizing homelessness within the city of Boise was unlawful and inhumane. Jody Peterson Steigers, the executive director of Interfaith Sanctuary, says shelters like Interfaith communicate with the city of Boise daily. And if there are no appropriate beds available, the city can't ticket folks for sleeping outside. Peterson Steigers says the settlement was a win for Boise's unhoused population that could possibly have implications regardless of the Supreme Court case. So what's going on with Grants Pass, quite honestly, doesn't impact the Martin v. Boise ruling within the city of Boise. Peterson Steiger shared with me an email from Howard A. Beladoff, who was the lawyer representing plaintiffs in Martin v. Boise. He says, in his opinion, there is an enforceable private settlement agreement the city agreed to in Martin v. Boise, and the grant pass case will not affect the settlement requirements. It is important to note that this is the opinion of the lawyer on the case and not a judicial ruling. Peterson Steiger says, while there might be protection for Boise's unhoused population, she is still frustrated that the ruling could be overturned for unhoused people around around the country. What's the outcome that they're looking for from this overturning of a ruling that's basically like, don't mistreat people. Let's work together to create the solutions that will get people safely inside. Peterson Steigers asked the community to continue to be open-minded when it comes to affordable housing development and new shelters around the city so that shelters can house everybody who wants to be indoors. Reporting on Americana Boulevard, I'm your downtown Boise neighborhood reporter, Brendan Jones, for Idaho News 6.